A spur gear is a cylindrical shaped gear, in which the teeth are straight and parallel to the axis of rotation. Spur gears are the most widely used gears, that can achieve high accuracy with relatively easy production processes. When two spur gears mesh to form a gear set, the larger of the meshing pair is called the gear and the smaller is called the pinion. A spur gear set transmits power from one shaft to a parallel shaft, and is widely used in situations in which speed and torque are relatively low. In this arrangement of gears, the pinion and gear rotate in opposite directions. The spur gears have the characteristic of having no load in the axial direction, thrust load. When the diameter of a spur gear is large, usually it is not made as a solid gear, instead it is made in the shape of a rim, in order to save material and reduce its weight. Also, when the face width of a spur gear is small compared to its diameter, usually the gear is made with a hub in order to improve its stability. When it's necessary for two parallel shafts to rotate in the same direction, an idler gear must be used. The idler gear is just another spur gear that's mounted between the original gear and pinion. The idler gear spins freely and transmits the power developed on the pinion to the gear. This way the input shaft and the output shaft will turn in the same direction. Internal gear is a gear with its teeth cut in the internal surface of a cylinder. The pinion is placed inside the internal gear, this arrangement allows the shafts to rotate in the same direction. Internal gears are often used in planetary gear sets and internal gear pumps. The spur rack is a portion of a spur gear with an infinite radius. Spur rack and pinion convert rotational motion, from the pinion, into linear motion, of the rack. A perfect example of rack and pinion is the steering system on many cars. 